Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's I just realised I should be wearing my uh, USA USA singlet, but we don't <sighs> like to get political on the podcast, so we're, no. I'm not, not going to do that. But no, today no, would be the day no. to do it, right? We're 141 episodes in. I don't know if we should be starting now. <laughs> That's fair. You got a beer? I do, actually. Yeah. I've got uh, this uh, one of Bathurst's finest. Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. Your camera's struggling there. Let me, let me get oh, yeah. If I put my If I put my head at the same place there as we go. the uh, I've got camera. A Bolter Hazy. So let's Hazy. get a little screenshot. B, what are we working with? BX Lager oh, from wow. uh, Reckless Brewing in Bathurst. Wow. Bought it down at, uh, where did I get it? Common Ground Cells. No. Nice. Oh, no. Look at my glass. Jesus. Look at that. That's a hand fucking glass. Look at that. Oh, there you go. It's oh, no. got your 140 on episodes and you're working up to it. It's good. Well, I've done the same thing every week, just put it in the dishwasher, but. That's what I do. Using Aldi. Aldi. Aldi um... Oh, that's good. I haven't had one of these in quite a while. Which is pretty fresh too. Cool. Um, no, no, no. That's what I wash my glasses with when I've got the little scrubber thing out. Is the Aldi what is it called? Tandle or whatever the fuck it's called. But the dishwasher and stuff is always yeah. It's so cheap as shit. I'm you get a bunnings, don't you? And get that bulk shit. Sometimes I do. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to get from Bunnings? Speaking of Bunnings, um, one of the hats. No, I'm going to get one of those Japanese toilets. They sell the, the ones with the, the water up your anus. Yeah, that, yeah. That's they sell sh- them? Sh- yep, 400 bucks. Wow. How much? 400. Wow. Like the ones that like finds, finds it and fucking sh- shoots it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. See if I can show you. <laughs> fucking share your screen. Why not? <laughs> it's, uh, what is it called? It's called the. Evercare, let me fucking share my screen here. The Evercare Smart Bid A toilet seat with remote. $399. Oh, it's a seat. Yeah, it's just the seat. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you just get the seat. you got to plug it in. So I've got plug to get it into what? Out. Into water? Electricity. So I've got to get a PowerPoint installed in my toilet. Okay. But you got to plug it into water, right? Yeah, but you just do a little T-piece uh, on the, see how you got the little T-piece there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just tee it into the water supply, piece of piss. That's the oh, easy, that's yeah. the easy part. Okay, All right. but the we'll uh, the challenging part is the uh, electricity. I can I've got electricity on the side of the wall. It's easy enough, but yeah, you just plug it fancy. in, or it needs to be hardwired. No, you just plug it into PowerPoint. What is there a video? What so how does this thing work? I don't want to see a video of uh, that sort of thing. No. Well, the details are important because right? I, I want to know. Like, is it just spraying from an angle at, at a spray and pray type? Solution or no, they no, they, okay. So, how it works, right? Is let me let me annotate the screen here for you. Mm-hmm. So, just in oh, you're here, drawing on it. Oh, well, yeah. you're just drawing some just sort of in red hole. <laughs> just in here. Should I change color? I should change. No, no, color. that's fine. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm commentating for the audio listeners of I'll which 99 percent of our podcast listeners okay. are. Is that, is that color now? Better? It's yellow, brilliant. That's yeah. so much better. <laughs> Okay. So there's a little thing that sort of skirts out there, and it's a heated, heated toilet seat. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Th- this thing, what do you mean skirts out? So I'm just going to water coming this, out of there, or does it? it does so it? This part here heats yeah. up. The toilet seat part heats. That's why I put it in red. Heats up. And the bit inside the yeah, it's a heated toilet seat. You don't need that. Why would I... Um, and then this little part is the part that goes psh, up here. Psh. But does it? But does it move, or it shoots from the same position every time it shoots? No, no, no. It's like a little gun that sort of comes out and goes. It comes goes, out. Oh, it comes out, and, and then it, and then it done goes like that. Oh wow, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Um, I mean, you know, honestly, the solution having, that having... most people use is is fucking disgusting. Correct. So, yeah, exactly. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm once you once you once you afford a box, man, it's easy. You can get one at the at, at your place. Uh, yeah. I mean, it would cost more than probably most of my house, but yeah, mm-hmm. give it a go. I like the That's shower system. I just have a shower. Well, you can't, you can't really overcapitalize, can you? <laughs> Apparently not. So let's have a look at the features of this, right? So, so it's got four cleaning modes, mm-hmm. posterior, 
feminine swing and massage. Yeah, because you get because the because the fucking order is important, isn't it? You can't. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and it can do f- the front and the back if you if, if that's if you so desire. Air dryer. So, so just to get into the specifics, the feminine would be going to the front. Yes. And then angling slowly backwards. I would suggest. Is that what's happening? I've never used it. Would couldn't tell you. Well, there's a mode for a reason. It's doing something it, different. It, it's there exactly. Right. Yeah, of course. Uh, self-cleaning nozzle and antibacterial coating, integrated deodorizer, wireless remote control, wow. soft-closed heated seat, equipped with an integral atmospheric vacuum breaker. I wonder wow. what the fuck that does. It's not bad, eh? I support this. I don't know about it being a seat seems a little weird, but, I, you know, I support it. Generally, it's a good idea. Mm. Um. Well, we're 141 episode in. We've got three to go, and we're talking about shit as usual. No, we're talking about toilets. Toilets, okay. not shit. But talking shit was the whole point of the podcast, and we're, mm-hmm. we're staying true to the mission. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. <laughs> How's it been back? You, you, um, you've had a full week. It's been really busy, actually. Um, I have been pretty busy catching up. Oh, I've still got to go record another bloody podcast episode. I need to reach out to Adzi about that. And, um, um, yeah, just getting back in the swing of things. Got a thing with Taki tomorrow morning. Nice. So just an online session with Taki. And, yeah, it's good just being Ask back him if it. he wants to buy my Land Rover. He bought, he bought one. Oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. He's got his own now. I don't think he needs two. No, that's fair. I mean, that that is his second one. Yeah. But, yeah, he did yeah, that's right. three. Well, no, he he been the last one. Yeah, it strikes me as a car that's not very safe. They're not very safe. No. no. How's the coffee shop going? Oh, it's it's been it's been a hard year, and I won't lie. We can do it. We can do another podcast about that if you want. Jesus, I'll save that for another. I'll save <laughs> like that, for that another eh? time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very been tough. Ominous. Um, all right, I'm, I want to do an over under update only because. We're we're one point away from crowning a winner, right? Okay. Yep. So the whole thing was this started fucking long time ago. I don't even know when. It was the first of 12 wins. And I'm sitting at 11 and you're sitting at 10.5. Okay. So but, it's only half a point in it. Exactly. And we've, we've got an open, an open over under, which is next year's F1 seats, which changed oh, today. Yes. So, yes. yes. Um, our notes are a little... Any- Dodgy. Can you share that? Are you going to share your screen, show us? How about I... Sh- yeah, fuck it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, Green button at the bottom there, the Zoom window. I don't... Uh, one, one participant can share at a time. Multiple participants... I don't think I even have a fucking... I don't think I even have that option. I don't know. Oh, right, here we go. Share. share. Share, share, share. Show me it. You got this. Oh, this is no, no. Now it's asking me to open settings. Fuck this. I'll just um, I'll paste this right into mm-hmm. the show notes, which is okay. the notes we made from, um, you know, back whenever we made this ridiculous bet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'll put it in here. So they're a little vague. Ah, okay. You can share yours if you want. If anyone is watching, no, no, that's all good. Many people don't. But that first link is a link to the actual confirmed driver lineup, which is not 100% confirmed, I don't think. And I'm not Stroll, willing to concede. Stroll either. with I? What does that mean? Well, Stroll, hang on a second. Stroll, Aston Stroll. Science didn't go to Mercedes. Whoa, whoa fuck, what have I done there? Whoops. No, no, no. We're, oh. we're both wrong for sure, but there's there's some interesting ones. In there. Salva is Hulk and some random young guy. You're welcome. Exactly. That, that was I? you. <laughs> yes. So, okay, Aston, Pendo Stroll with, I don't know what that is. So I said Checo's still at Red Bull. That's prob- That's going to be, um, that's, that's, yeah, let's fix that. That's the one I, that's the one I won't concede. Okay. I won't concede that Checo will be at Red Bull next year because I don't think no, he no, will. No, fair enough. And we don't um, know that uh, is it, we, Alpine is like not Ocon and Gasly, that's for sure. 
Well, I kind of William Spearman went to went to fucking um, um, Haas. I'm not. We don't even oh, have no, no, Haas so, in so, there. Wait, Al Alpine's Gasly and Doohan. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Um, but neither has picked that. No. So what are the and differences? Haas, Haas isn't even in there. No, we forgot Haas. We we completely forgot about them. Right. Well, I was right uh, about Behrman being on the grid. I just I said he was with Williams. Same. I said and he was with said, Mercedes. And you said Antonelli in Williams, but he's gone to the main team. Exactly. But you but yes. you said so your best one was Sauber, Hulk, and some random young guy. Like I'd I'd have to give mm. you that. That's pretty mm. Wait, no, mm. fuck. No, actually, I copied you and said the same thing. So you don't win on that either. Mm. Not bad, eh? So and Lawson, I said Lawson Red Bull been Science, been. which would have been the sensible decision, but yes. Red Bull were fucking morons, so they didn't do that. Yes. Um, but it's going to be wrong. So so let's assume I'm wrong on Red Bull. Unknown whether you'll be wrong. I think you will be, but at this stage, it's Checo. Aston, we both said Stroll, so no difference there. Williams, Albin, and Antonelli. You said Albin, Behrman, both wrong. Mm -hmm. Sauber, Bottas, Joe, both wrong. Mercedes, Hang Science. Albon, Albon's still with Williams next Sorry, year. Sorry, both wrong as in you and me were both wrong about that. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Sauber, Bottas, Joe, both wrong. Um, Mercedes, Science. I said Science, Behrman. Why you got Sauber twice. That? Surely I didn't say that. I wouldn't have said not... Um, Behrman's a Ferrari driver. He's no, there's no way he's going to get his first Formula One seat at Mercedes. There's no way I would have said not have Russell in there. So, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, but either way, we're both wrong because we both said science. Mm -hmm. Alpine, Ocon, Gasly, both wrong. RB, so. I said Yuki and Lawson, which I think will probably be. I think that's probably how it's going to pan out. Probably right. But you said the same thing. So again, mm -hmm. no different. Sauber, Hulk, some random young guy, exactly the same. So we're, this, the only chance of one of us winning this bet is if Checo is not at Red Bull. Yeah. If he is at Red Bull, you win. If yes. he's not, we know Saints is not going to be. Yes. If he's not, it's a draw. Yeah. So your That's path to victory is Checo being at Red Bull, but that will yeah. only put you at 11 and a half out of 12. Yes, yes, yes. So you still need one more I to win. I can wear it. I can wear it. I can wear it. <laughs> All right. That was fucking complicated. Oh, All right, what have we got on the list tonight? All right, not a lot. We've got the um, sober beverages, put brewery on market and plan to downsize. Uh, so so they have a brewery in Burley Heads, which is – I actually haven't been there. Um, have you been there? Well, I, I, no. 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 Um, well, I would, I've driven I don't past know it. I would, know where it is. It's I a, don't know why you would visit a non-alcoholic brewery. No, we, we had this conversation just, just at saying. the time. Yep. Yeah, but it is funny, like, um, these guys got a huge amount of press. Like, I don't know if anyone else was saying it at the time when they opened that brewery that it seems like an odd idea, but we were. Mm -hmm. And I feel like yeah. we were probably right. It, it's an right. odd idea. Yes. Um, I can understand them wanting to start up a production facility, but clearly for some reason that didn't work out. And the good thing you see with uh, old mate Clinton there, is he's in that article he's kind of recognized a few business mistakes and all that sort of thing so you know having your own brewery wasn't all it was cracked up to be That's there's fair. some comments there about the the branding and the brand positioning how you know to 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 lead with the um i think he says here to lead with the the aboriginal imagery and all that sort of stuff mm. um put he said he just basically said i don't need to put some people off um yeah. And, um, you know, going back to a contract brewing model, there's a brewery for sale. I doubt it to have a liquor license. Doesn't have a liquor license. Um, no, we don't need one, do you, to make a non out brewery, do you? No. No, that, that were very, it was very, very much promoted by the media and by them as being this whole, you know, everyone works here as Aboriginal and identifies as Aboriginal and all the ingredients are Aboriginal and all of this kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, do people want to go? To a venue and drink non-alcoholic beer, probably not. Yeah. No. Um. So and yeah, an, another brewery for sale. It's in a it's in an interesting spot. You know where it is on Reedy Creek Road. It's kind of it's yeah. it's in a pretty prominent spot. It's actually not far from where Burley Barrels was that also yeah. shut down. Yeah, but it's it's kind of halfway between Burley Barrels and Burley Brewing. Burley Brewing, yeah, 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 and a decent kid, I think. I don't think it says fifty heck kid in here. I don't think they had a fifty heck. No, I think it's a twenty-five. 
Yeah, they definitely got that wrong. But it, that decent kit, right? Like a pretty good yeah. system from memory. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can make yeah. a fair bit of product with it. Too much All for right. a brew pub, though. Oh, fucking nice. And and does the I don't know at that time was the decision to go into a your own brewery as opposed to contract brewing a sensible one. In hindsight, probably not. Nah, probably not. For a brand like not that. with non alk What's the what yeah. would be the benefit? Are you going to save money? Like yeah, you don't exactly. get the there's no excise, so you don't get the benefit of the excise refund or anything like that. And no one drinking um, the beer knows or cares. And no one's going to the no tap one's room. no one's going to go to the tap room. Yeah. Another crowdfunding one, I think, weren't they sober? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I can't remember. But right. that's really not going to change anything because business is still going to operate. It's just a change of the business model, basically. Right, but I think the whole well, I'd did have they to crowd fund off the did they crowd off crowdfund off the back of we're going to build a brewery? Yes, I think so. Yeah, Oops. I think so. Whoops. Yep. Um, Alice Spring, here's your boy, podcast yeah. alumni, Alice Springs Brewing by Link Port Link. I don't even know where Port Lincoln is, but it's they buy, they bought this awesome looking fucking brew pub thing. Yeah, it's, this is a good news here. story, actually. So, yeah, Kyle's uh, uh, Kyle Pearson uh, is Boston the Brewer alum. Yep, friend of the podcast has uh, uh, has jumped in and um, decided to buy Port Lincoln's beer garden brewing. Port Lincoln is a fishing town, tourist fishing town in South Australia. So um, oh, it's it's, it's like a yeah. nine hour drive from Adelaide. It's not far as the crow flies, but you've got to drive around the the, the fucking um, parts. You got to drive up from. Adelaide up to Port Augusta to come back Holy down to Port shit, Lincoln. That's like an yeah. oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah. That's like a, in the middle of nowhere. It's a nine hour drive to get probably a couple of hours of yeah, yeah, yeah. Things it's so really um, jumps out. That's so true. pretty. I, I don't know if you've been that way. I've been down that way. I've been to no, Sejuna never. and Streaky Bay and all that sort of stuff. It's beautiful down there. Not, not Sejuna, but Streaky Bay is lovely. <laughs> A lot and, of great um, lights, probably, is there? I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, a little tuna fishing there, all yeah. that sort of stuff. And um, tourists, a big tourist town and that sort of thing. And That's cool. um, so basically looks cool. I think the brewery does look cool. And um, but I think it's 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 it on its own, it I, it sounds like it was troubled by being highly cyclical in terms of being tourism high and low seasons. So right. I think in the story there, Kyle said that um, that the high season for Alice Springs is in the middle of the year, and the high season for uh, Port Lincoln is in the Christmas period, summer period. And so, right. basically, between the two, he can operate both at peak at one of them at peak at all times. So that is very interesting. Mm. Yeah, and will they brew out of there? Oh, I think it's got a brewery. Yeah. It makes sense. I'm sure yeah. they'll probably send a bit of product between each other and that sort of thing, but um, a long fucking way, isn't it? I'm just looking at the long it's, way. Yeah, it's, that's that is, oh, gee, that is insane. That's like it's a long like, drive. <laughs> it's crazy. I can't think of. I mean, like when we bought a brewery in Brisbane, it was like fuck. That's a long way away. This is like one end of Australia to another. That's, that's <laughs> mad. Good on him. I hope it works out. I really do. Let's see how long the drive is from there, from Port Lincoln to Alice Springs. You're not going to be driving it. No, Alice even Springs just Brewing not Co. to drive. Like even just getting there would be. It is a. It? It's a 16 hour drive. How would you get there? It's otherwise, big... you're probably flying, taking three flights or three yeah. flights and a drive. Well, you probably. I'm pretty sure you could fly to Port Lincoln. But whether you you wouldn't be able to get a direct flight from Alice Springs, you'd, you'd have to go to buy Adelaide or something. I'd imagine. Yeah. 1,558 kilometres. I guess, okay. I've got, I've got some news for Kyle. So he's saying, I get to go hang out by the beach, water you can swim in that isn't full of crocodiles. But unfortunately, yeah. Kyle, I'm just going to tell you now, it's full of great white sharks. So you're fucked yeah, either yeah. way. Yeah, exactly. Sorry to you know. give you that news. Mm. Um, yeah, that's cool. Good on him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Craft beer trends from the Great American Beer Festival. Oh, I didn't see this one. Let's have a look. I skimmed this one because this is what this is kind of the biggest beer event, isn't it? It's kind of the beer event. 
The GABF, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Owned uh, owned by the Brewers Association. Oh, Slotty Peplo. She's lovely. Um, uh, what did she say? American Resolve. Organised by the Brewers. So this is the thing, man. Brewers Association, non-profit organisation, runs the GABF. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Making bank, know, hopefully. 8,000 beers. Do. Yeah, well, they have. I just, when I was speaking to um, um, uh, Pete, oh, what's his name? The fuck guy runs. He's, he's retiring. Oh my god, my brain is just brown. Dying are you in the ass. Who are you talking about? No, 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 no. Be a writer, go. No, 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 no. No, the no. guy who's the president of the uh, Brewers Association. Ah, uh, anyway, um, he said they got four, or five full-time event staff. Bob Pete, and they do. Bob Pete, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and um, they do um, GABF Craft Brewers Conference, um, World Beer Cup, and the GABF competition, the beer competition, as well as the public facing thing. Yeah, and that's how they make their money. And only ten or fifteen percent of their revenue comes from member dues. The rest yes. of the money comes from events. You have mentioned it on this podcast yep. before. It makes sense. It seems like a great event. Have you been? Yes, I did. In twenty eleven, I went to the GABF. I would like to go. I remember one year Lukey big. went and he told me about it and it sounded very intense. Yeah, it was big. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we got so, trends in craft beer. Yes. IPA now counts for 46%. Really? Juicy, hazy, American Imperial. Lighter styles, American Lager, Wheat, Ale and Pilsner also gaining traction. Grow showing growth at both ends of the ABV spectrum. Um... Growth is coming from high and low ABV styles, while mid-range beers face more challenges. Interesting. Uh, Samuel Adams Utopias at 28% ABV. Have you ever had that? Fuck no. It's pretty good. Really? Yeah. Okay. The first one's tasted like fucking soy sauce, but now it tastes phenomenal. It's just beautiful, beautiful. I don't think beautiful. I've had a, had the was it what was the brew dog one they did? Bismarck or something? What yeah, was the big something. One no, no, no. That was that was freeze distilled. This is fermented to twenty eight percent. Jesus, that's Christ. really hard to do. Yeah, really, really hard to do. So, I, I I'll be honest. I have zero interest in drinking a twenty eight percent beer, but that's fine. You you don't drink it all at once. Okay, I'll try. Just ha sure. have a have a nip like a, I'll like try. a whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll try. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um. So it looks like uh. IPA and lager still yeah. dominating. Do you think this is part of the kind of struggle of craft beer? And I'm not, not saying it is or it isn't, but I'm after your opinion of like, if you were to read this article about the kind of trends that are happening now, this article could be written in 2023 or 2021 or 2020. No, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. No. Do you think that's, especially in America, like IPAs are massive in America. They've been since I can remember going there. 10 years ago. Yeah. Do you think that's yes. part of the problem? As in a lack of um, innovation or something like that? or Yeah. Or, or it might not be innovation. It just might have kind of reached the peak of kind of where it was going to get to, the, you know, the changes in beer. Yeah. I think this is where it's uh, gotten to. I can't, you know, what other style of beer could you possibly produce that would, you know, make... Um, Make people want to. People would want to try, you know. Yeah. Peak peak beer innovation. Peak beer That's innovation, cool. exactly. Um, exactly. Low and non-alcoholic. I mean, this 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 is a, a typical section of someone telling us to drink non-alcoholic beer when you're definitely not going to. This Athletic Brewing Co. is like the one that's massive over there. They're like their version yes. of um, heaps normal, but I'm mm -hmm. fucking skeptical about that whole category. I don't know about you. Hmm. Still growing off a low base. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a big like VC back company, same as the heaps normal one. I, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if <clears throat> some of these ones are the next ones to go. We've said that before on here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See what happens. All right. We got a lot of hand reacts and what, do you want to do 12 questions first? There's not many of them, yes. I think, but we'll do those yeah, because we respect our audience. Yes, yes. The yes. dwindling audience we have. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Uh, I think actually before we go into the twelve questions, 
I'm going to propose a date for the finale closing party. So we've got three to go after this one, yeah? Yes. So we should probably do it either on the 23rd or the 30th of November. Okay, let's have a look at my extremely busy calendar. Wait, are you proposing we do a live podcast as the final no, one? No, she, no, 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 I'm just going to drink beer at the German club. Right. After we finished or at some point around when we're finishing? Well, that's the thing. So the 23rd will be right before the last episode on the 28th. Right. Or we can oh, do a get together on the 30th yeah. after we finish. Um, let me see when I got my kids. <laughs> Kids week on week off. Oh, my oh, my stupid computer doesn't have my other calendar on it. Hang on. Um. Yeah, I mean either, either one. Twenty third. Put it in the seventh. So we've got. Yeah, twenty third. Of, I mean, it doesn't matter too much. But twenty third, I'm kid free. That would be the week before the final episode. Assuming we do one, we have no mm-hmm. reason to not do one each week. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. I don't think I've got, I've got nothing on as far as I can tell. The twenty third, twenty third. Okay, let's uh, let's let's. I'll set up a an event in the um, Facebook group. All right. Are we going to do anything? Anything in particular? Did, something fun, enticing for people to come there? Or yeah, well, they've always got interesting beers on at the German club. <laughs> fun. All right. Hopefully, they'll have Augustina Hellas. Fair enough. What do you have to do to get Louis G there? Do you think? Do you think that's possible? Oh, uh, we're just going to tell him. Notice. No, no, yeah. we tell him. We tell him. Right. It's two weeks' notice. He's 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 a man of leisure and pleasure. He'll he'll get there. <laughs> what are you going to do when you see he's actually got a monocle for a, a monocle emoji for a I face? Don't know what I'm going to do? It's going to be awkward <laughs> as shit. I'm awkward enough as it is. That it's going to be extremely awkward after two years of knowing someone and not knowing them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So All if right. you're listening, pencil in the. 23rd of November at the German club and Wool and Gabba or the Turnverein. Do you know what that means in uh, English? German translation? Turnverein? Turnverein, yeah. No. Gymnastics club. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a, it's weird. a gymnastics club. Huh. All right. Well, if we drink enough, we'll, you never know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do some flips. Yeah. Right. Bevan Howard, question, Colin, will Trump make America great again? <laughs> this question. Oh. Uh, we're not allowed to talk politics on this show, but you can't do any worse than the current dead guy that's running the country is, is my opinion on that. Yeah, that's true. I'd, I'd, I'd pay that. <laughs> right. right. Adam Buckland, question, space, Colin. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Is the amount of satellite venues opening up alarming? The likes of those with big pockets like felons is fair enough, but we've seen in the past both here and overseas that these venues are the first to close when times get tough. That's a good question. Oh, do you mean like range and that sort of thing? I guess, yeah. No, I don't see that being a problem. I think that's actually a pretty smart move. I think the the neighbourhood bar is, you know, have a look at what, um, you know, Jill from the Mill now does, and she runs four neighbourhood bars around Brisbane. And yeah. um, not and, a brewery, and, is she? No brewery, but she's got a good business model. But you know, yeah, um, I don't see that being a problem. No, okay. with range in particular, you know, they they realize that yeah, you can start a thing in Melbourne, but it's a little bit far from home. Um, yeah. and and I think playing in their own patch, but you know, I, I, I think it's good. I've been to, I, I haven't, I haven't been I, to the Rays one yet, but I've been to sorry. um, the patio. Is that good? They seem to be executing those pretty well. Oh, just it's, based on visually yeah, it's looking good. Good. It's good. Yeah. good, good, good food. Yeah, good beers. Yeah. And they haven't blocked us on Instagram, which is just fantastic news. Well, they got their Instagram back, so. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'll take the other side of that. I've never been a fan of it. To be honest, I I remember when you opened a bar at Brew Colt and I went there mm-hmm. and I thought, to me, a bar, standalone bar, is not the same as a brewery. I know it was a contract brand, mm-hmm. so it's different, but... To me, you've got a bar down the street that can sell whatever beer they want, and then you go to this bar that's only selling their brand. I don't; it doesn't feel the same to me as a brewery. So I was never mm. a fan of opening venues that weren't brewing their own beer. Um, history could prove me wrong, but I can't think of too many. There, there, there really aren't that many who've done it very well. Like Range is the best example you could think of who've already tried and failed at this. 
they, they might be doing well now, but they did try with mm. the Melbourne one and that didn't work. Yeah. Um, I know McKellar do it, don't they? And Brewdog do yeah. it. Um, yep. There's not many Aussie ones who've done it. Stomping ground, I suppose. I suppose you could say. But most of those are breweries, aren't they? Or at least they, they yeah. look like breweries. Yeah. Felon's doing the big one in 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 Manly. That's that makes sense, you know. Hundred percent. That's that. I feel like that's different. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's see how they go. Yeah. Um. All right, Paul James. As someone who knows nothing about F one, question. Oh wow, this punctuation is challenging. As someone who knows nothing about one F one, hyphen question colon lowercase. How the fuck am I meant to have? Any banter with randos at the pub without your weekly carry on? It feels like he's getting oh, sad about us going away. Us just finishing up, yeah, yeah. Um, you'll be okay. You'll be fine. Yeah, find Louis G. Look at yep. look for the emoji. Hang out with him. Yep, yep. Talk some shit. Yep, absolutely. Um, Liam Core question lower. Don't fucking do you, they're fucking with me with this punctuation, and it's fine. But lowercase question colon. Capital, can you guys make the last episode live past a podcast at a brewery? No. Probably, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, I think it's going to be fine. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> right. That's your answer. That's your answer. And those are hard. No. All right. Robert Townsend, question colon with a question mark, not the word question. I, I see. Okay. I see what he's doing. Capital, what was your favorite beer in Japan? This is for you, Hendo. Oh. Um, what is the craft culture over there like? And any popular beer styles other than the Asahi slash Sapporo style lagers? P.S. How good is Japan? Uh, Japan is bloody amazing. Um, yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, we'll definitely uh, go back. Um, I, um, oh. The, the beer scene over there is really interesting um, because they don't have a lot of space to do stuff. So the breweries can be really, really like nano-sized breweries, right? Um, and um, sometimes, um, um, yeah, the, 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 for me, right, the beers that I really gravitated towards there were the... Um, were the, the 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 major breweries right, and they were doing some really interesting stuff. You know? um, I did some beers from Far East, and um, and 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 I did a couple of other little breweries. There's one brewery I went to in Sapporo uh, that I can't remember the name of, um, and the beers were really like they were clean beers, but they're still really tart and really sour. And I was like, ah, oh, as in really in weird. Fact- no, just very acidic. Hmm. Um. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was just sort of, um, yeah, it was a bit weird. So I, I, have, I, just, I have the same I, thing I, that I, I went get to a lot Japan. out of the, I get a lot out of the, the, the major breweries. They just do interesting stuff, right? But, this, the, but the were best, you disappointed the, then based on the craft? Because I went there specifically seeking out craft breweries. It, granted, it was quite a few years ago. And, honestly, I was pretty disappointed. I, I was It was very, very hard for me to find a craft brewery that's, Sold beer that I, that I could really enjoy. Yes, I would agree. Yes, yes, definitely. Mm. Um, uh, yeah. So the the craft brewing scene there, you know, historically is held up by really antiquated taxation laws and stuff like that. That is changing slowly, um, but um, um but it, that, that obviously being a tax thing it's changing very it's it's not a, it's not a very fast change right. um and the quality of the beers gotten better since i was there in 2019 definitely yeah. oh, um sense. but but again i just gravitated towards the mega lager breweries because they just do it so well you know yeah. i loved um Premium Malts was the best beer that I had there, and that was a beer that that, that gives Rattenhund a run for its money. You know, wow. beautiful, beautiful beer, and and it was two bucks. Mm. That's fair. Two dollars. What are you going to do? You're going to probably drink quite a bit of it. Mm. Absolutely. So, yeah, this is the thing. It's um, um. So that was quite, that was that was me. That's that's what I gravitated towards. That's that's Japanese beer as far as I'm concerned. 
Yeah. Um, next time I go back, I'll, I'll go and check out some more breweries and that sort of thing. I, I did see a few, but none, none of them really like floated my boat or anything like that. We'd go, wow. But you know, yeah. And if you've, you've got suggestions, chuck them in. Craft the is still seen uh, as 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 very creative, extreme beers, and all mm. that sort of stuff. You know. Yeah. I went to the, the the best brewery I went to was was uh in Kyoto. I went to a um which I think it was just called Kyoto Brewing Co. And it yes. was like the coolest looking little fucking brewery. Like it could have been in it could have been in Fitzroy. Yes. And I think that from memory they're Belgian, it was like a beer garden. It was mostly outdoors, and I think they had upstairs and it was I think Belgian style beers, which is not really my you you would probably like it more so than me. I, I was sort of more into mm. the hazies and the IPAs mm-hmm. and whatnot. And I didn't love the beer, but the actual brewery was like something directly out of fucking Portland or some shit. Yes. Um, so they're kind of they're onto it, but it was just it was just the quality of the beer that was not I didn't think was amazing. But again, it was a few mm. years ago. Mm. Um, should we do some HR or should we do some Please. F1 talk? Let's do some uh, Endo Reacts. Dude, did you watch yeah. the F one on the weekend? I, I, we got to talk about this. I got halfway through and 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 um and and I just got so confused. Really, you didn't even watch it. That was that's one of the. I best... watched half of it. Wow. Okay. Yeah, right. I watched half of it. I got confused. Why did I watch the rest of it? Nah, I just got confused. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, th- I did enjoy Stroll beaching himself before the start. Oh my god! Yeah, Jesus Christ! Did you yeah. see the? Uh, yeah. There was like this meme that I saw where there was like an arrow going around the bitumen because the bitumen went all the way around. He could have driven around that that that. Oh that right, he just goes straight through the middle. And he just goes straight through it. Yeah. <laughs> what did he expect was going to happen? Fucking hell! I don't know if I've got the land. Actually, I might have it in here. Let's go through HR and we'll see if because I, I I think I've got a couple of F one HRs in here. Share sound, sharing sound. Yeah, hopefully there's no copyrighted music because we got struck again last week, like yeah, every week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope, we're not doing that. Okay, that is music, that's right. a, that is copyrighted sound. Paranormal. Okay, we so it's Guinness. Please to the barman. If a uh, oh, it's a bit oh. of a swear word on the yes. on the phone of the um uh, on the um, Guinness there. Well done, well done. Yep. And it's a harp or something, isn't it? It's, it's, pretty, it's, the, it's the Guinness harp, yeah. Pretty neat. Um, can I share that? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. Next one. <clears throat> it's going to send that to somebody. Who yes, I think that's it? the idea of that sort of content. You send it to someone. Yeah, that's right. right. HR2 Ben Fenwick. Uh, yep, here we go. Ben Fenwick is consistent with the HRs. He's, yeah, you need. Don't do that. Yeah. Carrying only one pack can cause an imbalance in your back, leading <laughs> to lower back pain and potential spinal issues. The proper way is to carry two packs, ensuring your body remains balanced and you maintain oh. proper posture. That's fair. Fair. That is totally fair. Look at that bottle shop, though. No refrigerated beer. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. Dude, it's can I bad. tell you what happened when I bought these beers this afternoon? What happened? I so <clears throat> I bought two four packs. I did what this advice said because I'd done my research and I thought we'd better just buy two. And I reached for the ones at the top, right? Which was the um South Coast Pale Ale, the Pirate Life. Yes. It was yes. some BWS deal for 16 bucks. I'm like, yep. I'm gonna be hanging out in the pool. I'm gonna have one of those. So I reached sure. for that. My my phone was in my pocket, I think. I reached for that with my right hand and I t- accidentally tap a mountain goat goat that was sitting there by itself, right? Right. Uh-huh. As I was getting the four pack off the shelf. Okay. And then it in slow motion falls out of the sky, yes. bending back on itself. And my left hand just fucking flies out fast twitch muscle style and catches it like literally like clean as a whistle like that. Yeah, right. Just before it was about to hit the ground, like it was like around my knees. It was like, shoop, boosh. did you buy that beer? I fucking didn't, but I looked around and I was like, please, for the love of God, I hope someone saw this. No one fucking saw it. Oh man, I was like, come on, please. Even the chick at the counter was just like, nice me. She's talking. I'm like, surely she saw it and she had eyesight. She was looking down. It's like, God damn it. It's like <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Like, uh, anyway. All right. HR3? 
Hatch our three. Here we go. Luke Cooper. There we go. Dude, Cooper's just sent me a thousand fucking things. Oh, an alcoholic coming back home, back from work. Oh, there's like, I don't want to put the music on. Nope. But basically, it's like little miniature shot dispensers that go in your fridge and you can make yourself a little mini, what am I call it? Margarita, I suppose. He's got uh, yourself oh, a margarita. salt. Yeah, it's a salt. Mm. Lime. He's got some tequila. Oh, Jack Daniels, 20%. Five oh, or man. 50%. Jesus. What? Where's the other? Wait, where's the other 30%? This? Where's the other 30%? What's that shit at the front? That's sugar, is it? It's Jack, Jack Daniels, Daniels, 20%. Five or fifty percent. There's thirty percent left. I just skips out on the fucking the rest of it. You got a line though. Fuck. Wow. That's bad maths. Bad maths. Yep. Um, what system, happened to right? HR four? We're just going HR five. Well, that's my fault. But Luke Cooper was just ruthless. He sent me so many things. I skipped a few to be honest because there's too many. Okay. There are too many. Yeah. And cappuccino, but cappuccino. Yeah, and cappuccino. 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 For the audio listeners, he's pouring him a beer. He's pouring beer. Yeah. With a big phone. He's drinking the beer. Oh, cappuccino. This is cappuccino again. That's it. Hello. That's, it. That's the concept. It's, not a, it's, not, it's actually not a cappuccino. <laughs> no, it's, it's, not, it's a very frothy looking beverage. Yeah, frothy looking beer. Yeah. But here we are. Luke Cooper's just smashing him out. He's on him? fire. He's out of control. Remember, alcohol is God's apology for making us self-aware. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Remember, alcohol is God's apology for making us self-aware. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> He's good. All right. Have HR you watched his one traveling shows? They're so good. He's so good. No, no. HRF11. HRF11. How I think I look watching F1. Oh, I'm just going to go. It's all of the girlfriends. The, yeah, all the, the girlfriends. And then ah! it's Mr. Bean. <laughs> it's Mr. It's Bean. Don't <laughs> chuck uh, his headphones. Oh, uh, that's so good. Yeah, I don't look like that at all. Oh my god, look at him. And so, and you notice it's all the Mercedes shit as well. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay, here we go. Um, Zitter. HRF one two. Life sometimes. Um, you take Hang on, a, let me start again. Life sometimes. Um, you take that's a life sometimes. Um, you take a gamble, it's paid off for them. Um, it's not talent or, you know, it's just luck. So, um, just, uh, so that's talking about Max winning the Grand Prix from 17th position. To first, yeah. To first, when Lando qualified on pole and came yeah, sixth yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's not yeah, talent. Nah, it's just luck. Yeah, that's not talent. Or maybe he was talking about Alpine. Lewis, Lewis, ha no, no, he wasn't. Lewis Hamilton had a classy response to Max's victory, which I liked. But what did he say? That oh, he, you just said Max is a fucking legend, and it was an amazing drive, which it was. Mm. Um, but Lando is a whinging little bitch. Let's be honest. Oh boy! Oh, don't want to play the music. Don't do the music. Why I assume swimming? this is this is um Brazil. It has to be. It's pretty yeah. cool. There's oh my god! A lot of water. That's a lot of flood water. And he's yeah. got his thing. Oh my god! They're dancing in the rain. Oh, look at it! Oh, it's so wet. Oh my god! Now they're rowing in. The they're rain. rowing. Now they're swimming in the disgusting water. Yeah, that is gross. gross. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Yeah. Um, I saw another one I didn't include in here, but it's Oscar Piastri's team radio, where he's just saying, "Like, guys, we got to fucking, we need to stop this race. This is just out of control. It's yeah. so bad." I should watch the rest of that race, eh? That's it. That was. I mean. Yeah, I mean, at the end, Max was just doing fastest lap after fastest lap. It wasn't sort of an amazing race, but everything in total was pretty amazing. Yeah, for that result yeah. to happen. But all the timing was out, you know, like the seven thirty a.m. qualifying. Yeah, and then the the Williams both binning it, so they couldn't fix the cars in time. And yeah, yeah, it was pretty wild. I think it's good because the Max deserves to win. There's no doubt about that. Lando yeah. certainly doesn't deserve to win. No. And I hope I hope Max wins. And he will. I mean he definitely will. Yes. But um yeah. Yeah, this is not really anything stopping him now. They're not going to get the constructors of Red Bull. But uh, um fuck no. Ferrari might. Ferrari might get it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So oh man.
Good stuff. It's been good. All right. I think we're good. We're we're fucking That's it. We're done right. here. I'll put, an, I'll put an event up in the Facebook group uh, for uh, the uh, 23rd. 23rd, and was it? We'll do Saturday night and drink some beers at the uh, German Club. Right. Love your work, mate. That's it. Love work. I'll, I'll say see you next week. You're going to see me next for week. the fourth last time. It's the third last time. Third last time. I suppose if you count when we catch up in person. Yeah, but there'll be no content recorded there, though. But... No, that's true, though. We might need to put another bet on to finalise the, the um the bet before yeah. then because the driver lineup won't be finalised. I don't think. Well, hopefully so, it is, but you never know. If you can think of a bet to finalise the bet, chuck it in the group with good punctuation, yep. and we'll consider it. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> All right, mate. Love your work. See, See you next, next week. week.